The pump still cycles. It short cycles. back on a different day what's up everybody welcome back to the journey so we still have a problem with the old RV so uh, let's go check it out oh water buffalo so you can see with the water buffalo right I've been taking the hose this is what I used to fill <laughs> Which right now is, is done filling. All right, so coming over here, get this reclosed. But then if we listen, the pump still cycles, it short cycles. So, yeah, um, scratch my head because. We have looked throughout the entire trailer and I do not see any leaks whatsoever, but it's still short cycling. Now I know that the water we've been putting in is not the super cleanest. It's not filtered water like it should be. It is still clear water, but there's probably still gonna be a little bit of sediment that's getting in possibly to the diaphragm of the motor. But there is one other thing that I wanted to check first, that there's no air in the system. So to do that, I need to go around to all of the, the fixtures, open them up, just make sure that there's no air in the system whatsoever. So let's go do that first. As of right now, we have not really been utilizing the outdoor kitchen. So I haven't even turned this on yet. But we have water. We have water. No air in the system, at least it did not burp. All right, so outdoor kitchen is good, no air. So let's move to the outdoor shower. Door shower. Check. Had a little bit of air, but we don't use this, so there should be really no reason to turn this on. Or at least we don't use it as of right now. If you're hearing water dripping while I was doing that, that's actually the condensation coming from the roof where it's dripping down from the air conditioner. So that's not a leak. Okay, next up, without showing you too much of the RV, because uh, obviously we're still unpacking, we're still getting stuff cleaned up and, and such, but kitchen sink, check. No, no air in the kitchen sink. Uh, this next one is a little bit tight quarters, but this is the girls' bathroom or guest bathroom. Sink, check. And now toilet. Toilet, check. And this is actually the one I had to do the repair on. Works just fine. Does not leak. 
So let's head back to the main bathroom. All right, master bath. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Toilet, sink. Shower. No air. So that's everything. Okay, so the pump is actually behind this little panel right here next to the bed. And this is a very small space. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that pulled out. And then I'll take it outside to work mm -hmm. on it. And it's still cycling. Okay, so here we go. A few seconds later for you. It is quite a bit longer for me. Because this is the type of screw. So it's a shanked screw. Well, the material that it's going through was only about that thick. So therefore, once you put that in, this non-threaded part is what's actually into the material. So it does allow it to move some. Now this unit does have rubber feet, okay, that slides in and out. Well, obviously how that was going in there was not working out so well because, oh, put that went on backwards. Because even though that's a little bit thicker, you can see, right? See how that shank sticks out there? So it's not holding anything. So it still allows this thing to vibrate. And trying to get these out was almost impossible. I had to be able to pry it up. Obviously I had to pry it underneath here, which is stretching these, which caused those to come out. And then they also had this red wire going through the feet like that. So, and there's a two that was in the back because it mounts in there like that. So you can't see these two feet to be able to get the screws out. And that's where the wire was going through. So to be able to just pull this out, I couldn't get the pump out because I couldn't get these two out of the floor. So I ended up having to cut the wire just so I can get the pump out get it out of my way and then get these two feet out of the floor so now I got to reconnect the wire so for my other side I cut one of the the hot wire here off leaving because they just use the crimp inside so I left that crimp on the inside of the RV that way I know that it goes to that wire and then this one I cut off on this side that way I know that that one goes to this wire and then once I get done, I'll, I'll cut this wire off or cut this off completely, reconnect it, and then go through that. That way I didn't have to write anything down and say, hey, which wire, and I will forget. So, yep, got it off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, and get this opened up and look at my diaphragms and such, and just uh, make sure that it's good to go and clean, but just, looking I mean I can already see just even here that there's debris right there so yeah and I went ahead and brought you guys outside I know it's hotter for me but yeah it's, it's one of those things I didn't want to have to turn off the air conditioning and then sit inside of a hot RV and I don't want to mess with this unit here I want to take off the whole thing because that's where the diaphragm is because uh, this is what adjusts your uh, pressure setting and this this pump is set at 50 psi which is average you really don't want to go above that in an rv the pump that i bought for the water buffalo however goes to 70 but then i also have a um a pressure reducer that I can put on the inlet 
So I put, I'm putting this screw off to the side. That's my top screw because it's actually different than the other two. So you want to make sure that you're putting the correct hardware back into the correct spot. Can look and see it's yummy dirty i'll set that in there yeah that wouldn't be from me nothing i put into here has little plastic shavings Should just pull right there. You go. I said I should just pull right off, and then my little diaphragm. <clears throat> I don't. I didn't really want to pull off the whole thing, but I will. Cause you can just look behind it to see if there's any debris and clean it off as needed but it does look like I have well, that's just gonna be grease grease is good debris plastic shavings is not okay Let me go get like a little pin or something that I can stick. Well, actually, I got a little something here I can use. I just looked over and just seen it. I'm going to get out all those little plastic shavings. Make sure my O-ring is back in. And I do want to rinse this out really quick. Uh, I need to grab some fresh water out of the house. Be right back. All right, so that looks a lot better. So we'll get that back on so go ahead and put this unit back together and <clears throat> this is an actual it's a flow jet it's a model zero three five two six one four four and I'll also link or I'll put that down at the bottom of the screen and this is a 50 PSI to 12 volt DC. Let's check my O-ring, make sure you don't want to have anything in there. And that also is keyed. For the motor. And voila, so I'll get my wires reconnected. I don't know if I might put it back through the foot like it was, but really no need to do that. And then I'll get it put back in to the RV. I need to go gather some more tools. Out here working on the pump, and look at this thing. That's one of the biggest moths I have ever seen. Look at the colors on that thing. Look at that. 
just oh my goodness gracious look at it <laughs> well I think that one's a little too big to get into the blue light Show you guys here in a second. All right, so I crammed myself in this little tiny hole. So as you can see, got the pump down here. So I had to redo my wires, redid the plug, throw my light so you guys can see. And there we go, and it's on. So I redid my wires, put some shrink on there that way any type of moisture or water won't get in to the connections which it shouldn't anyway but gotta screw back down to the floor and it's holding pressure so yay and then i also have another pump here that is going out to the water buffalo but this is a video for another day so we definitely appreciate you guys for following the journey. If you have an issue with your RV pump and you don't know why it's short cycling, but you have no leaks whatsoever, check out the diaphragm. That's probably your issue. Last but not least, y'all, remember to always think of veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.